I'm in Leitrim and I want to answer a question. It's come up a few times basically, can you fully recharge a plug-in hybrid without actually plugging it in? We're going to use this car here, which is Santa Fe plug-in hybrid. Okay, so with most plug-in hybrids, basically, they'll do small portions of electric driving by self-charging. So in other words, they might give you a quarter of a kilometre, a half a kilometre, a little burst of electric driving. Then they need to use the engine to recharge and so forth. However, if you plug them in, sometimes they'll give you kind of 50 or 60 kilometres of full inter uninterrupted electric driving. Okay, so when you look down here, this is the battery guide down here. So full, empty. It's always got a little portion that it can self-charge down here, okay? So that's going to give you your little kind of half and quarter kilometre bursts. Uh, when you look at the battery, even though it says zero electric drive left, it's still actually got some electric drive and they're the half kilometre and quarter kilometre little bursts that it does. So it'll usually rotate between about 12 and 16%. So the battery, battery never completely empties. It'll always rotate between about 12 and 16% self-charged. So people have asked, how can I charge the car above 16%? I want a longer uninterrupted electric drive than little half and quarter kilometre bursts. And I'm wrong, I've been telling people, you have to plug it in. Turns out there's actually a way for the car to completely self-charge itself back up to 100%. In my defense, it is actually doable, but it's not a replacement for plugging in. Plugging in still makes way more sense. But this is just to show you, it is actually possible for the car to completely self-recharge. And that's what makes basically being in Leitrim significant in this case. So, okay, I've zeroed everything to start the journey, okay? Because I want to show you just how long this actually does take. It is possible, but it's really slow. We've got zero kilometers electric range. Now, this doesn't actually count the little half kilometer bursts and quarter kilometer bursts. They don't actually count there. This is the honor. We have zero kilometers of kind of long, uninterrupted electric driving. And we're at 13%. So contradictory to what you might think in this car, we need to move into sport mode. What sport mode appears to do is it, it appears to stop the car going into any sort of electric driving and it just continuously charges the battery. Sport mode gives you better kind of throttle response and all that kind of stuff, but in this case, that's not important. Okay, that's the south of Ireland right there, which is Black Line. That's the north of Ireland right there, which is Belcoo. So after 35 kilometers of driving, We've managed to gain 10 kilometers of in an uninterrupted electric driving if we want and we've also got the battery to charge up as far as 33 percent okay so cabin cabin town we've covered 117 kilometers car is now 60 percent charged it's giving me 28 kilometers of exclusive electric driving if i want down in mead now so we've covered about 195 kilometers 196.4 kilometers uh, the car can now do 51 kilometers of full electric exclusive driving if it wants and the battery is now charged up to 90 percent so it's not a fast process by any means but it's just as i said not something that you try and do instead of charging using a, uh, using a plug-in setup but it's just something i wasn't aware that you could actually do so this is just to show you it's physically possible so 220 kilometers covered three hours of driving uh 58 kilometers uh, of available electric range 99 i've actually been at 99 percent for about five kilometers it doesn't seem to be rolling over to 100 so i'm probably going to assume that we can't quite get to 100 99 i'm happy with that's pretty much as good as you're going to get so yeah it looks like it's actually possible to fully self-charge a plug-in hybrid which i didn't think it was anyway thanks for watching